Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Rant. Now, I, this is the show where we take general fitness topics and we talk about it and see if we can come to some sort of an understanding or just have a general discussion. Now, I know I haven't done one of these in a, in a while and I apologize for that, but uh, been busy, you know, been busy with, with some good stuff, some athletes and... Uh, yeah, it's been great. It's been great. Uh, first, before we start, if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love it if you go down and subscribe now. Uh, it really helps the channel grow. Uh, I'm also trying to put out more content, just general everyday stuff. Okay, this week I really want to rant. I, I want to rant about, about bullshit advertisement in the fitness industry. What do I mean? Right. So I'm uh, working away here, scrolling away, and let me make this smaller. I'm going through my feed on Facebook, and I am scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down, and I come to this. What is going on here? For weeks, I was skeptical. I didn't know if I could do it or if it would work. Four simple weeks. Mobility does not, from this, week one to week four. This is utter bullshit. Sorry, there's no other way of saying this. This is bullshit. There's no way, mobility doesn't work like this. Mobility does not, you don't simply, there's no hack, there's no special ointment or special protocol or anything. Mobility is hard work. This is the equivalent of saying, hey, I was at a 100 kilo back squat, now I'm suddenly doing 200 in four weeks. It doesn't work like this. If you physiologically and exercise physiology, you can't go that fast. I can guarantee you in this picture, he already had the middle split. Okay. You don't go from this being tight to that in four weeks. That does not happen. Mobility works almost exactly the same as strength. You have to build strength through range of motion and your nervous system and your muscular system and your connective system then allows you to gain more range. The strength and range of motion correlate to each other. There is obviously a minimum and a maximum um, strength that is needed. Uh, you don't need to do uh, <clears throat> like gym... Uh, uh, um, what's his name, Jojo or Juju, Juju with a barbell on your back. You don't need to do that and go that heavy to, to obtain the middle split, but there is a strength to range of motion correlation. Um, think about it this way. Range of motion is basically strength training done at end range, okay? We used to think in the past that it is only a central nervous system adaptation or... Uh, or uh, kind of like affect the, the, the nervous system and then in returns the nervous system gives you this extra range, more or less on the hypothesis of a reciprocal inhibition. But through later research, we now know that it's actually the muscle fiber that undergoes longitudinal hypertrophy as we, uh, as we start to increase range. So by just saying hypertrophy, you know we're talking about functional hypertrophy and not sarcoplasmic like we get in, uh, in, a, in a pump situation. So the rant is definitely, if you, if you see stuff like this that is too good to be true, it usually is too good to be true. Like 30 days to get your handstand. Bullshit. It doesn't work like that. It just does not work like that. There's a reason why people spend years and years and decades perfecting a craft because it takes an extremely long 
tie. And we have things like this. I don't know who this is. And, you know, honestly, I don't care and I'm not even going to research into it. But I'm happy to see here some people are laughing at this because this is a pure joke. But what we find is that people see this and then it starts to be embedded into their head going, oh, you know what, that one guy did it in four weeks. So obviously, you know, it works in four weeks. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. To go from a normal being like this to a flat split can take anywhere from a year to a year and a half of persistent training at it. Okay, so I really want you to take these clickbait um, advertisings with a grain of salt and be, you know, if, if it looks too good to be true, it usually is too good to be true. All right, this was a quick one. Just I needed to get this off my chest. I've been wanting to say this for a while, but uh, this just hasn't come up yet because I always block the person that advertises because I hate this false advertising bullshit. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, leave a big thumbs up for me. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, have a great day. See you guys around.